Good morning, Daddy. Good morning, Mummy. Good morning, Raju. I wish you a very happy birthday. Thank you, Daddy. I'm so excited today. When is my party? When will all my friends come to play with me? Happy birthday, Raju. Your party is at four in the afternoon. That reminds me, I have to go shopping later in the morning. Would you like to come with me, Raju? Hurry! That would be great fun. Hello, Arjun speaking. Yes, Arun. What? Today morning's flight. That is great. Yes, we will definitely receive you at the airport. That was your uncle Arun from Mumbai, Raju. He, Mala Auntie, and your cousin Rajiv are making a sudden trip to Chennai and Coimbatore. In fact, they are calling from Mumbai Airport. We have to receive them at Chennai Airport in two hours' time. They will then leave for Coimbatore tonight. Let's all drive down to the airport to receive them. Yes, let's do that. I shall go to the shopping mall after we return from the airport. We shall also need some money for shopping. Let us drop into the bank on our way and withdraw some. Here are some things we see at home. This is a sofa. We sit on a sofa. This is a newspaper. We read newspapers to know about the things happening around us in our city. country and the world this is a book we read books for entertainment and knowledge this is a fan fans help us to keep the room more comfortable this is a telephone we use telephones to speak to people who are away from us this is a clock clocks give us the time of the day Why are we wearing this thing around us? This is called a seat belt, Raju. Wearing this is very important whenever we travel by car. This will prevent us from getting hurt in case the car is suddenly stopped. Can we go faster, Daddy? No, Raju. The speed limit on this road, as you can see, is fifty kilometers per hour. We should be careful to drive well within the speed limit as otherwise accidents may occur. Why have we stopped, Daddy? We have stopped due to a red signal, Raju. See those red and green lights ahead? These are called traffic signals. They help to regulate the flow of traffic and prevent accidents. When the signal is red we should stop and when it is green we can proceed an orange signal indicates that the signal is just about to change it is very important to follow the traffic signals oh now i know why school buses stop even when no one is getting down here are some things we see when we travel by car this is a car we see many different types of cars on the road This is a seat belt. Using seat belts makes our car journey safer. This is a street lamp. Street lamps are used to light up the road when it is dark. This is a speed limit sign. Such signs on any road tell us what the speed limits on that road are. We should always go well within the speed limit. This is a traffic signal. When it is red, we should stop. When it is green, we may go. When the signal is orange, it means that the signal is in the process of changing. What is this place, Daddy? This is a bank, Raju. We can deposit money we get into the bank. We can then withdraw the money when we need it. In the meantime. the bank keeps the money safe for us over a period of time they also give us a little more money this is called interest i am now going to withdraw some money for buying things for your party
This is a cash counter, Raju. When we need to withdraw or deposit cash, we come to this counter. I also need to deposit my salary check and update my passbook. What is a passbook, Daddy? Is it a report card which says pass or fail? No, Raju. The bank keeps an account for each of its customers, wherein it keeps track of how much money they have put into the bank and how much they have taken out. They thus know how much balance money each customer has in the bank. These details are written or printed out in a passbook, which is issued to each customer. Oh, I see. And what is that you said about salary check? Does it mean that you have to check your salary? When people need to pay someone money, they can issue them a check like this one if they have bank accounts. My office has paid my salary with this check. When I deposit it in my account in the bank, the money will get transferred into my account, and I can then withdraw it as and when I like. Wow, there seems to be a lot of work going on in the bank. It must be quite hard work. Yes, it is. Of course, nowadays most banks use computers like this to do most of the routine work, like processing the daily transactions, etc. What is this, Daddy? This is an ATM, that is, an automatic teller machine. By using this ATM card, we can withdraw cash, check our account balance, etc., any time of the day. Even when the bank is closed, ATMs are usually available round the clock. That is, any time of the day or night. Here are some things we see in a bank. This is cash. We use cash in many ways. For example, for buying things in the market, paying school fees, etc. We should be very careful with cash. This is a check. We use checks to pay someone money, or to withdraw money from a bank account. This is a deposit slip. We use such deposit slips when we wish to deposit money, either cash or checks given to us by anyone, into a bank account. Such deposit slips usually need to be filled in with our bank account number. The amount we are depositing, the check number of the check, or the value of each currency note or coin we are depositing, the date of deposit, etc. This is a withdrawal slip. We use this when we wish to withdraw cash from our bank account. We should write our account number, the current date, and the amount we wish to withdraw in the withdrawal slip. This is a passbook. Passbooks give us a complete record of all the transactions in our bank account. That is, about all the monies we have put in, and all the monies we have taken out of our bank account. Thus, we can also see the balance money we have in our bank account in our passbook. We should get our passbooks regularly updated in the bank. This is a demand draft or DD. Sometimes, when we have to pay money to someone, we use a demand draft instead of a check. This is similar to a check, only in the case of the demand draft, we first pay the money to the bank, and the bank then effectively issues their check, that is the demand draft, to the person we have to pay money to. This is an ATM. That is automatic teller machine. ATMs help us to do certain bank transactions, such as withdrawing cash, checking our account balance, etc., without going to the bank. That is at the ATM itself. The advantage is that the ATM is available twenty-four hours of the day. ATM card. This is an ATM card. In order to use the ATM to withdraw cash, etc., we have to first enter our ATM card into the ATM, 
and then key in a secret number called a personal identification number or PIN. Only then will we be able to do a transaction. The purpose of this is to identify ourselves to the ATM and prevent anyone else from misusing our account. Oh, the post office is approaching. Shall we go in for a minute? I need some stamps. Raju, this is a post office. When people want to send letters, telegrams, parcels, etc., they can send it through the post office. People post letters in post boxes like this one, which are kept at convenient locations. The letters are then collected and reach the post office, after which they are sorted on the basis of their locations. They are then sent to the post offices in the destination locations. Postmen there then finally reach them to their actual destinations. Give me 20 5 rupee stamps, please. What are these stamps used for, mummy? When we want to send letters by post, we have to affix a stamp of the required amount on the envelope, like on these envelopes here. This is the mechanism by which we pay the post office for their services in reaching our letters. What else can we send by post apart from letters? We can also send parcels through the post office. Remember, for your last birthday, your cousin in Delhi had sent you that toy car by a post parcel? Oh, yes, I remember. That was a great toy. That uncle must be sending a parcel then. Yes, see, they are weighing the parcel. Usually, heavier the parcel, the more the postal charges. If I write to my cousin in Delhi, will my letter reach him tomorrow, mummy? No, Raju. The postal service will usually take about three to four days. However, if it is urgent, then there is a facility called Speed Post, wherein the letter may reach your cousin the next day itself. Of course, this will cost us more. What is a money order? It is a way of sending money to people in other places. For example, every month I take a money order for rupees 1000 for my old uncle in our native village. I can pay the money here in the post office and fill in the money order form, which even has place for me to write a small message. This will be transmitted to the post office in our village, which will then send their postman to pay the money and deliver the message to my uncle in his house. I know our postman Ramdeyal Kaka. Why is he not here? How do you know him? Well, he brings a school report card home. And then you look gloomy. Ram Dayal must be out delivering letters. Let's go. We are getting late for the airport. Here are some things we see in a post office. This is a post box. Post boxes are kept at various convenient locations across cities and towns so that people can drop in their letters in them. This is a postage stamp. We have to affix a postage stamp of the right value on any envelope that we wish to send by post. Usually, the heavier the envelope, the higher will be the value of the postage stamp required. This is a money order form. We can fill in such a form when we wish to send money to anyone through the postal system. It will be transmitted to the local post office of the person to whom we are sending it and the postman therein will then deliver it to the concerned person. This is a post parcel. We can send parcels like these by post by booking them at our local post office. This is an inland letter. We can write inside this, address it correctly and drop it into any post box. It will then be delivered to the concerned person. This is a post card. This is a very inexpensive and effective means of sending letters to people as it is cheaper than an inland letter or postal envelope. This is a postal envelope. We can write 
or print our letters and enclose them in this postal envelope which can then be dropped into any post box. Let's buy visitors tickets so that we can go inside the airport and await them. Let us check the flight arrival status. Good. Flight 999 from Mumbai is expected to arrive as scheduled at 11 a.m. ETA means expected time of arrival. Let's go to the visitors area. This place is called I know, I know. This is an aeroplane. No, Raju, that is an aeroplane. This place is called an airport. Airports are places where aeroplanes take off and land. Aeroplanes go very fast. We have landed in Chennai so soon. How wonderful! In fact, your uncle can reach Chennai in less than two hours from Mumbai by an aeroplane, whereas if he were to come by train, it would take him about 24 hours or more. Look, Raju, they have gone to collect their luggage. The luggage they have got from Mumbai in the plane will arrive on the conveyor belt. Hi Raju, look we have come to Chennai for your birthday. What have you got for me from Mumbai, uncle? Raju, that's not very polite. At least greet them properly first. Namaste uncle. Namaste auntie. How are you? Hello Rajiv. I knew you would be coming to the airport Raju. So I kept this in my hand. Hooray! I can't wait to open it and see what is inside. Be nice, Raju. Say thank you to them and we can go home and open your gift. Thank you, Uncle. Here are some things we see in an airport. This is an airline ticket. We have to buy such a ticket in order to travel in an aeroplane. This is an aeroplane. Aeroplanes travel very fast and can reach any part of the country within a matter of hours. This is luggage. When we travel to other places, we usually take with us many items such as our clothes, personal effects, etc. neatly packed as luggage. It is a good idea to reduce the amount of luggage we carry with us so as to make our travel more comfortable. Here is a pilot. Pilots fly aeroplanes. One has to train very hard to be a pilot. What is your program now, Arun? I have to visit the Chennai branch of my office for some urgent work. It is in Adayar. Is it very far from here? Not really. I shall drop you there by car. I shall take Raju and go to the shopping mall. We shall take a public bus. Are you coming with us, Mala? No, I shall rest at home. Rajiv is also tired and can stay with me. This is a queue for the bus, Raju. People stand in a queue in the order in which they come. We should always stand in an orderly position in the queue so that we can all get into the bus comfortably without any pushing or shoving which might be quite dangerous. You should also always remember, Raju, to never get into a bus until it comes to a complete halt, as getting in or out of a moving bus could hurt you badly. Here are some things we see in a bus stop. This is a bus. Buses often function as public transport. They usually have fixed routes and stop in pre-fixed locations called bus stops along their route. This is a bus queue. Such queues are useful as they help everyone get into the bus in an orderly fashion 
without any pushing or shoving. Mummy, I want to sit next to the window. Okay. One full and one half ticket to the modern shopping mall. Why are we giving money to him, Mummy? Is he the owner of this bus? No, Raju. This is a public bus and belongs to the government. This gentleman is called a bus conductor, and it is his job, among other things, to collect the correct fare from each person traveling in the bus. We should keep these tickets he has given us at least until we get down from the bus. A travelling ticket examiner (TTE) may come any time to check if the people travelling in the bus have all purchased tickets. We have to show our tickets to the TTE when he comes. Remember, it is wrong to travel in any public transport without buying a ticket. Please get up and let this elderly gentleman have your seat, Raju. Very good, Raju. Remember, while we should always be considerate to all, we should be particularly considerate towards elderly people and offer them all possible assistance we can. Our destination is approaching. Come, let's go. Here are some things we see when we travel by bus. This is a bus ticket. Whenever we travel in a public bus, we should buy a bus ticket from the bus conductor. This is the way by which we pay for the bus ride. Here is a bus conductor. It is the conductor's job, among other things, to issue bus tickets to all passengers.